Hi, I'm Luke and I'm going to read a very special bedtime story for you tonight because it is 10 minutes to bed. What do you think this evening's story is going to be about? Well, we've got some clues inside this little basket, so let's take a look. We've got a unicorn. We have got a toadstool. And we've also got some pink sand. Any ideas? Well, it is, of course, 10 Minutes to Bed Little Unicorn by Rhiannon Fielding and Chris Chatterton. So get cozy, get comfy, get snuggled up and listen to this. Twinkle, the naughty unicorn, had glittery feet and a sparkly horn. 10 Minutes to Bed, her dad would call. But this little unicorn was not tired at all. Unicorns live in a magical land full of marshmallow clouds and pink sugar sand. Nine minutes to bed, let's try to be quiet. But Twinkle was causing a bit of a riot. Now, unicorns don't often cause trouble, but Twinkle always seemed to make double. Eight minutes to bed, her daddy frowned, but Twinkle was dancing and prancing around. Dashing about and chasing pixies and sprites and fairies that fluttered like tiny bright lights. Seven minutes, said dad, but she swished her tail, for Twinkle had found a footprint trail. What sharp claws and what huge feet. I wonder what hairy trolls like to eat. Six minutes to bed, said her dad with a sigh, but now Twinkle had spotted bright wings in the sky. A baby dragon swooping higher and higher, breathing great flames of golden fire. Five minutes to bed, so don't go far. But Twinkle had seen a shooting star. As it shot through the sky like a spark, she followed the star's bright silver arc. Four minutes, she grumbled with a big groan, but soon she'd forgotten how to get home. Now in the magical, velvety, starlit night, Twinkle scrunched her eyes up tight. Three minutes, she thought her bedtime was near, so she wished and she wished, and a rainbow appeared. From a unicorn's wish, a rainbow is made, so no little unicorn is ever afraid. And if a unicorn's lost and alone, they follow their rainbow to lead them back home. Over the rainbow, back through the wood, Twinkle trotted as fast as she could. Two minutes to bed, she heard her dad call, but perhaps she was ready for bed after all. Curled up tight, feeling happy and warm. So snug, thought the sleepy unicorn. There you are, Twinkle. One minute to bed. But Twinkle was fast asleep instead. There she is. Twinkle's fast asleep in bed, and I think it's time for you to get to bed too. Good night. Thank you.